Hey girl, welcome back. We're about to jump straight into a welfare check with Mr. Jamie Foxx, okay? We're gonna reach out and check on Jamie Foxx via the tarot today because we just kinda wanna know what's going on with him because if you haven't heard, he has been in the hospital for the last couple of days to my knowledge. And his daughter made an announcement saying that he is now responsive, which means at some point he wasn't responsive. Um, so it seems like it's quite serious. So we're going to kind of just jump into this read and kind of see what I can figure out and find out about what's going on with Jamie Foxx. Okay, let's do it. So just, uh, you know, honestly, I haven't seen Jamie Foxx since he played Ray. And I mean that in a literal sense, okay, and in a figurative sense, because I, ha you know, noticed that when he played Ray, he disappeared in that movie. Jamie Foxx was not in that movie. It was it's, it was Ray, okay. He embodied Ray to the fullest, and I literally has not seen Jamie Foxx since, okay. Even I don't care if the person that p plays Jamie Foxx walks the red carpet, I still don't see Jamie Foxx. Because it's like he took the funny away. It's like, because Jamie Foxx was very funny to me. I mean, the Jamie Foxx show, I, I almost forgot about it. But why would I shouldn't forget about it? Because it was so funny. I probably don't, you can't watch an episode of the Jamie Foxx show without laughing. I mean, Jamie Foxx, he did the right amount of acting in that movie. I mean, in, in those TV shows, in those episodes. And he was so funny. And the whole cast was funny. Junior, the uh, the wife, Eleanor. I think that was her name. I don't know. And then, of course, um, Fancy. Okay. It, it, was, it was funny. And Braxton. I mean, the whole cast was funny to me. So, he was funny. But since he played uh, Ray... Girl, I don't know if he was cursed or what, you know, because he did a very good job in Ray. But, girl, he disappeared. Okay? I haven't seen Jamie Foxx since. Okay? I, I don't care if he walked the red carpet. I didn't see Jamie Foxx. Okay? I ain't saying I saw Ray. I don't know who I saw. I just saw a shell of a person that used to be so funny. So, girl, let me move into the reading. So, Divine Angels, if you would, please give me the best cards from this deck to get to let us know what's going on with Jamie Foxx right now. What's his energy right now? Because I know he was in Atlanta. Oh, damn. Well, damn. Okay. Not schizophrenia. Not that being the first card that pop out. Okay. Something mental. Mental issues. Okay. Mental break. But that won't have you, yeah, yeah, I guess it can have you unresponsive. It depends on what kind of break you had. But he's in, oh, okay. Okay, girl, let me, let me keep on shuffling. What's going on with Jamie Foxx? Anything else you can tell us from this deck? Oh, dang. Okay. I, I got the picture. I got the picture, Okay. Okay, so he ex this he's experiencing okay something for sure. Okay, it could be it, it with the source card here. It could be spiritual. I'm getting something here that's from his past has come back. Okay, a lot of ex exhaustion. Okay, and mental. It's mental exhaustion. It's um, but it's it's a whole experience okay so we're not gonna just say oh it's just mental and he just having a headache or he just no it's definitely something it's serious here okay so let's see what we got here girl now the first card that came out here y'all saw it was a schizophrenia card he's trying to hold things together trying to pull things together with you know almost bipolar energy you see two different type of energies being pulled together he's trying to make things work he's trying to bridge things together and it's causing him, it's causing a mental break. Okay, definitely in the mind. Something mental. Again, pieces. It's like pieces are falling apart. Pieces of him are not there. Okay, are not there. And, the, and the, they can't get the piece to fit back. Girl, I hope they ain't cloned this boy. Because he sure ain't been funny. Because when they clone people, honey, they can't do nothing they used to do no more. It's like, baby, why would you, you try to clone them and make all the money so that you don't have to deal with the actual person? But, baby, who like a clone? A clone can't dance, sing. A clone ain't funny. Girl, when the last time a clone told a good joke? Girl. 
<sighs> Back to the reading. So, okay, as you can see, this combination of these two cards is schizophrenia and completion. You know, you see in this completion card, it's like a puzzle piece being put back together, fragmented, very fragmented, not all together. And then the one piece they do got left, it just won't fit. They can't get it to go. Okay, and it says we are the world and then exhaustion. Okay, next it's got we are the world. Um, now this card is giving me connection, completion again with the completion card here. Second time is here. Trying to complete something. It seems like they're trying to rush and complete something. Trying to please people. And, and by the same time, this card also gives me being connected to people. A connection. But honey, at the end of the day, girl, you exhausted. And you need to get a good look at this card. How exhausted this person is in this card. And this person's so exhausted. You see all type of stuff in this in this scene. Girl, do I see a bullet there? What I see look like needles. It look like oh somebody got their head bandaged up again with the head issues. I don't know if he hit his head. I don't know if his it's, it's something with the frontal lobe. It's something with his head. Um, it's giving me mental. But at the same time, when I'm looking at this card, it got a bandage around it. So and then with this card being this one piece, got this red around it. It could be he hit his head. He got probably got in, did he get injured on the set? Okay, because I know he in the land of him in the movie. I don't think this movie is action packed. I thought since Cameron Diaz was in the movie that maybe it was maybe romantic or a rom com or something like that. He told me, uh, girl. But okay, and this is the nine card, nine with red. Okay, so it's stability. Did he lose? Did he lose stability? Did he lose? Did he fall out? Pass out? Hit his head? Okay, but then again, this nine, this stable card, this um, red card is also giving me root chakra. Okay, it's the root chakra, which means something maybe from his past. Like, maybe he had mental issues in the past, and it's coming back. It's, it's cycles. Okay. Okay, this kind of, again, cycles of this with this card. Okay, so we got the source here. Now, this source card is the, it's the God card. It's like God, the divine angels. Okay, source. And then there's no number here. Baby, uh, I hope they ain't called Jamie home. Jamie ain't been called home. But it's like he's holding on. He, either he's holding on to dear life and trying to, and need source, need prayer, need. I'm seeing going to the sun. I'm seeing, I'm seeing blank like red line, like flat line. I don't know if he flatlined, saw God, came back, passed, because then it followed by the past life card. Like, did he pass? And they ain't saying passed away like he gone. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, allegedly. Okay, it's just, I'm just, I'm just reading the cards. It says, with the past life, it's like, I don't know if he flatlined, met God, something from his past, past life, passed on. Mm, okay, and then I got experiencing. Okay, almost like an experience. Like he, uh, the, you know how people say, "Oh, I flatlined, I saw God, and I came back." You know, I don't know if it's gonna be one of those type of situation. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully Jamie is still here. Um, but it seems like a, it's definitely starting off. It's a, it's a mental break. Something that may have happened a lot in his past. I see him also. It this person is so exhausted, so tired. Physical and mentally. Almost feeling like a robot. I'm seeing, girl, I'm starting to pick up clone. Okay, because it's got the little robot hands, little robot. Either he working hard like a robot, no breaks. Oh, baby, they done cloned the baby all wrong, honey. They've been cloning these people wrong. And then, so, but then I see people around him. Either he got a team working with him. He got people around him, connected, family, people praying for him maybe surrounded with a lot of family at this time but then right here with this source in the past life it's like passed on past 
a source, maybe even passed for a minute, came back. A lot of red cards here. Red, give me like foundation, stability. His roots. This is something that's in the family. Okay, yeah, mental. Something in the family. Bipolar energy. Had a mental break. Probably while on set. Could have possibly had some type of issue with, it could, I don't know, heart issues. What's the red? The chakra. Chakra is, that's the base chakra. It's like stability, shaky. Passed out. He passed out. They probably wrapped him up in something. Wrapped him up in blankets. Wrapped him up. And then. But somebody's trying to keep things together. Piece the, keep things. Of course they're trying to keep it on the wraps. They're not going to come out and say. Oh he went crazy. He had, he had bipolar episode. And he hit his head. But it's, it, it do look serious. Okay. So let's see. Let's pull some more cards and see if I can get a little more insight. Let's see what's the total energy around what I just pulled. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Because I'm real concerned about this source and past life. I just want to see what's the energy around that real fast. What's the energy around this source and past life card? What's the source and the past life for Jamie Fox? Okay, so let's see. The source in the past life, the cards that came out, we got Milky Way, girl. That's Milky Way. See, again, source. Like, girl done left his body, out of body experience. Either left his body, out of, out of body experience, passed on, girl, went, girl, hit in the heaven. You, and, and perceptive, perceptive. Per, oh, I'm sorry, perspective. Milky Way. Like, out of space, like, out of body, he either had an out of body experience. He could have flatlined for a minute, left his body for a minute. They probably and they could have they could have brought him back because with the experiencing card, um, I'm, I'm I'm hoping they did. We got crystals here. Focus, lost focus. Probably even lost focus in his eyes. Probably lost vision. Again, crystals like otherworldly. Like, yeah, he left for a minute. Either he left for a minute or he, because it's at the last stage, or he, is he still with us? And we got Tsunami, wake up call. Oh, boy. This cycles, uh, Tsunami. Tsunami, a lot of, um, a lot of water, a lot of emotions. Uh, girl, chaos, a lot of chaos. With the perspective, like he lost perspective, probably even forgot where he was, <sighs> lost focus, wake up call, wake up, trying to wake him up, trying to get him up. I'm just picking, it's just what I'm picking up into it to read. And like it probably was because I see a lot of red here. I don't know if if, if he had a, 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 a mental break. And, and like a like a mad one, like an angry one. Like he got angry, doing the most. Yeah, they probably have to knock him out in his head, knock him out, uh, girl, or hit him or pull him down or something. And he hit his head, lost focus. I mean, a, a lot of chaos. Okay, and because of that, girl, did he, did he flatline? Of that is because it was a whole experience. It was a whole experience, honey, that was happening. And then, like, they're trying to keep it on the wraps, keep it on the cover. But you see how this person covered up? But it's like cycles of this. Like, how, how much are you going to keep it covered up with this schizophrenia card? Because uh, it's beginning out with mental issues um, from childhood. Okay? He's silly. Is that... Is that he's silly back in the day? Did he, did he have a mental break? Do he have a mental hi history of that? I don't know. Uh, but it's like... Yeah, either got hit in the head, 
something happened in the head right there in the forehead because or focus his focus his frontal lobe something in this area girl either he got hit right here fell got hit right there or he either had some type of mental break okay exhausted tired overworked okay it's a lot of stuff that's going on in this card right here that's adding on to this because so all you already got the mental issues uh allegedly i'm just saying and then and this is something that may be family related but then you exhausted you're trying to please and connect to everybody trying to please trying to meet deadlines trying to uh get everything done on this set you're doing too much and you're trying to you're probably using some type of substance or using something to keep you awake and keep you going and it was too much okay and then it's like at some point the mixture of mental the mixture of maybe substance and then it was like a whole um tsunami a whole tsunami going on where just lost the all type of uh perspective on what's going on like lost like sight lost focus wasn't even out of this world with this milky way just very out of this world talking probably talking crazy okay and then it's either girl either somebody hit him in his head to stop him and slow him down because it was just too much or he hit his head but it caused it seemed like a flat line okay so let's girl let's let's pull let's pull more let's see what we got going on Okay, let's see what else cards can give me a little more insight on what's going on. Let's pull from this deck. No, 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 no. Because I still want to check on this schizophrenia and this schizophrenia. Give me more. Can you tell me more about this schizophrenia card here? Um, okay. So we got the, um, we got ordinariness. We got participation and the rebel. Okay. Yeah, he he acted out, honey. He acted a fool on me, folks said. Acted out, set a blaze, set a fire, girl. Okay, with the rebel card. Set a blaze, set a fire. Because it was some participation, girl. It seemed like everybody, I don't know, everybody had their hands in it or everybody was participating in something. Okay, and girl, mixed with his medication, he probably did or did not take. Okay, allegedly, and girl, he said that he set the thing on blaze, baby, got out of control. I see a lot of rainbow colors here too. Rainbow colors, the rainbow community. What is that? Okay, it's like, and then it's also the rainbows, all spectrums of the rainbow. All dimensions, just everything, just all emotions, all in one with the tsunami energy. And then him acting out with the schizophrenia. It's like his schizophrenia act out. I'm not saying he got schizophrenia. The schizophrenia card came out. It could be bipolar. It could be a mental break. It could be mental split, girl. It could be, girl, don't actors have to have some type of mental split to do what they do? So, girl, it split. It split. Okay, it 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 got real. Let's say it got real on the set. Okay, let's see, girl. This let's see what this deck has to say. Give me more about this uh, schizophrenia and participation, originalness. Okay, original. It's like the original card. It's like it's something that's already been there. It's already been in him. It's him. But you add what he participated in, mixing in with that, and honey, it was a concoction that caused a chaos which caused I don't know if he acted out again and passed out but girl or did y'all hit him in his head to stop him from acting crazy what going what's going on did, did a stunt go bad okay give me more about this um schizophrenia card what do we need to know about that for Jamie Fox Okay, let's see, girl. The first card was it's a nine of Ariel. 
It speaks about your dreams are fulfilled. Your dreams are fulfilled. You girl, you're on your set. You're working. You're doing your job. Okay, hard work leads to great success. You're working too hard, honey. A love for the beautiful things in life. Okay. So he out there working hard, probably over, overdoing it on the set. And then we got the seven of Gabriels. It says, stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. Okay. And then the high priestess. It says, powerful psychic insights. Reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. It said, be at peace. Honey, was he not at peace? Stand, he's standing up for what he believe in. He got he up here doing his job. Okay, it said that he was on the set doing his job, and then all of a sudden he had to, he felt like he had to stand up for what he believed in. Okay, and he had that confidence to do that, claim your personal power. And it's like Jamie, what are you talking about? We just doing scene two, and he was like, no, I'm standing up for what I believe in. It's like what what do you what do you believe in? What are you talking about? And there was he was and then it's like some psychic insight that happened, some reflection, and it's like some type of psychic. Mental again, give me mental break happened, and he couldn't hold it together no more. Okay, and then it's like something missing. A part of the puzzle is missing. Okay, a marble has disappeared, had rolled away, a screw has came loose. Okay, and then we have because and at the end of the day, like in the middle of it, he just exhausted, and he's doing too much to try to keep himself going, and. It's, it was too much mis mixed in. Give me more about this exhaustion card. Can you tell us about the exhaustion card for Jamie Foxx? Okay. So it speaks about the Eight of Michael. It says, you can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. Not seeing things clearly. Period. Okay. Not seeing things clearly at all. It's zero percent at this point okay so not seeing things clearly and it's I see okay now I'm looking at this card see what this card giving me I see a masculine energy kind of hoovering over a feminine energy so I don't know if he did too much to Cameron Diaz girl because he wants seeing things clearly Baby, you gonna put your balls in the face, okay? Cause look how you flying over here, like baby, you did too much. I ain't trying to be flying. I'm just saying. And next we got the Ace of Raphael. It says a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationship, deep and lasting spiritual insight. Yeah, speaking about a relationship, did you forget that you just acting? Cameron Diaz is not your real girlfriend. We got the King of Michael, which speaks about principle, rational, okay ambitious and respected wisdom and objective objectivity are important now very important wisdom and objectivity so be very objective about what's going on right now stay in stay in your integrity okay yeah did you cross the line with Cameron Diaz on the set okay and and I'm just trying to say what type of mental break how, what was going on on the set behind a mental break and but I wonder how did he flatline what I mean I'm, I'm not saying he did but that's what I'm picking up how did we go from well I guess we had this mental issue you ain't seeing things rational you ain't seeing things straight or clearly something missing you're very exhausted you're trying to um, keep yourself going because you're trying to be ambitious and and but it's something about being rational that's not being rational it's like you're not being rational and it's almost like this king right here standing his ground and you're not even being rational but yet he's trying to be ambitious he's trying to work too hard and keep it you know and keep himself going but he not it seems like he's not taking care of himself properly it says a situation that calls for honest and open communication okay calls for somebody to be honest honest about your past honest about you honey did you take your medication did you take did you skip medication? Did you double up on it? Are you adding something to it? That's what I'm picking up. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? So let's see. Let's pull some more cards. Let's see what this deck has to say about Jamie's uh, energy. What's going on with Jamie Foxx? 
happening? What can you add to this reading from this deck about Jamie Foxx? Okay. Oh. So we got the three of uh, ones. Planning for the long term. He was planning for the long term. Abundance from past choices. Pride in the success of your labor. Mm. And still, a lot of working hard. This man was exhausted. He says, be patient as you decide what's next. Next, this has the Page of Sword. Logical. Again, they go that logical. You got to be very logical right here. I feel like logic went out the window. Again, perceptive, insightful, and very blunt. Okay. Last thing you need is somebody having a break, trying to be blunt, talking about he keeping it real. Baby, you're doing the complete opposite. But okay, go off. It says, an exciting, intelligent challenge, a very intellectual challenge, a brilliant insight, information that needs that um, information that you need but might be challenging to receive medication that you need but challenging to receive it's like just take it here goes some water it says re review all documents very carefully so this giving me something that could also be with contract issues the man stressed out about that we got a page of ones Okay, enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, impatient. News of exciting opportunity, allowing your creativity to soar. Do things that fuel your passion. Finish what you start. That go that finish what you start, honey, because they said they want him about that hospital bed and back to work. And and clearly he wants to get back up and finish what he starts. It's not like he don't. He do. Um, but. I don't know. It's just giving me that logically he probably won't be able to do his pers his perspective, his way of seeing things is not there, and he's very blunt, almost like uh, blunt, like yeah, just straightforward, straight to the point. You know, ain't playing. Don't put no sauce on it, okay? And it's like information that you need, but it might be challenging for you to hear it, so you may not take it well. So I don't know if there's something that he's going up against. Clearly, yeah, he is. He's this man of stressed out. Had a mental break. Okay. Let's find out. Is Jamie okay? What's the status of Jamie Foxx right now? Is he okay? Let's see if this card, if this deck can tell us. What is the status of Jamie Foxx right now? Is Jamie okay? Okay, let's see what cards we have here. It look like, you know, it's going to be some unexpected income. Some, some, I mean, I don't know if Jamie going to be okay when he get out the hospital, girl, because the way they talking, like, honey, if we don't be able to finish this movie, you're going to owe us some money. We got a message of concern here. A message. Somebody going to send him a letter, some type of document. Girl, I guess he's going to be okay, girl, because they... Getting ready to sue him. We got courthouse here. We got high honors. And then we got a change here. A change is going to be um, going to happen here. A permanent change too. Okay, say so with a main female. So girl, is Cameron Diaz going to take him to court? For something? It seemed like a girl, we got the courthouse and the main female here. Uh, somebody going to serve some type of documents to his house, girl. And so I guess he okay, girl. And then we got unexpected income here with high honors, honey. They know he got the money. They like you. You gave us a, your word that you was gonna be able to finish the job. But how you gonna sue him unless they figure out, honey, that you you lied about something. You didn't tell us that you had maybe a mental issue. You didn't tell us that you was taking certain certain type of substance. I I don't know allegedly, okay. But it seems like he's exhausted here, and he's just trying to keep himself going. Which caused a change. Okay, and then I don't know if that's going to affect his honor. 
is you know his status in Hollywood, which is going to have some unexpected change when it comes to his money. And with this court um, car here, I mean the courthouse here, it's like, girl, is Cameron Diaz going to be sued or is she getting in on the suing, girl? Because I see with this uh, Knight of Wands, girl, I hope he didn't harass this lady or nothing like that or take it too far. He told me, do you want to have some fun? It's like, I don't like nobody to say that, especially nobody grown. No, no, I don't. What kind of, especially a man. Okay, especially a man talking about, do I want to have some fun? No, no thank you. No thank you. At all. Zero percent. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's going to be the reading, girl. I mean, y'all heard what I said. So, that's that's it. So, this is a legend, girl. I don't know for sure nothing going on with this man or not. Okay. I know. Okay, these two cards came out. And you see them come out. Traveling and suppression. So, it's like, well, that was going on. It's been suppressed for a long time. And it just finally hit now because, I guess, because he's in the hospital. But, and again, these cars are red. So, it's like the foundation. His, 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 it's been here. It's like, and then red give me anger. Anger, because he can't figure it out. Whenever he have an episode, can't figure it out. Um, yeah. And it's just like, can't take it no more. It's a very a lot of red cards here, honey. Red, red, red. Okay, source here. You need to pray about all this. And then his perspective is kind of off, very out of space. So I hope he's okay. You know, because if he make it through and can't finish this movie, honey, they're gonna take him to they're gonna take him to court. He might be going to the courthouse or have to sell out one. But yeah, they gearing up, girl. They are, they are already talking. So that's going to be the reading for Jamie Foxx. I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed it. Because it didn't seem like it was. It's not like one of those, oh, happy he's getting love. But girl, it's a little insight on what's going on. Okay, so girl, catch me later. Bye.